Welcome back, aviators. I hope you're all doing well during this quarantine, and I hope you're staying safe. Stay home. It's not worth going out and getting the virus. So it's the beginning of May, and all I've been doing all month is sitting on my couch, watching Netflix, watching YouTube videos, and eating junk food. I do get outside, walk around the neighborhood, but this quarantine is killing me. I haven't had any trips because of the coronavirus. It's been about two months since I've been in an airplane. I can feel myself getting moody and restless. I'm just tired of staying in the house all the time and not traveling. If I don't get a trip soon, I think I'm gonna lose my mind. Ah, oh, man. If only I could go back to the days where I'm a normal corporate pilot flying these Gulf Streams around the world. Just exploring the amazing destinations, eating awesome food, it's the same feeling I had when I wanted to start flight training, but I couldn't because there was always something holding me back or something getting in the way of me starting my training. That's exactly how I feel right now. I just want to bust through the barrier and get back to my normal life. I'm sure just like you, you want to jump in an airplane too, don't you? So I woke up yesterday, I was hungry, I went downstairs, made a cup of coffee, I started making avocado toast on a bagel. It was absolutely amazing. While I'm in the middle of breakfast, my phone rings and it's the chief pilot from work. So I answered it. He said, I have some good news. I said, really? He said, I put you on a trip on Friday. You're going down to Florida to drop off a passenger and come back home. I didn't even know what to say. I didn't think I was gonna be flying an airplane for another two months. I was beyond excited. This was fantastic news. I hung up the phone, forgot about my avocado toast, and then I stopped. I got kind of nervous. I started to think, I don't know if I'm proficient enough to be flying these airplanes, especially flying down to Florida with a passenger. I haven't flown an airplane in two months. So the next day, we all decided we needed to have a pilot meeting and talk about proficiency. On the call, we decided, hey, we need to get out there, do some flying, and uh, practice takeoff and landings, uh, practice instrument approaches so that we're proficient enough to actually fly passengers. The chief pilots decided since we have two G550s and two G650s that he's going to split the department. Half of the guys are G550 pilots, half are G650 pilots until we get flying enough to where he needs us in both airplanes. So I ended up being a G650 pilot just because I very recently went to recurrent ground school and simulator training uh, in February. This is great news. This would allow us to sharpen our skills before we actually fly passengers on real trips. They also proceeded to tell us since we're living in the times of COVID-19 that they had to put in place policies about uh, cleaning the airplanes and wearing masks. So now, as soon as we get in the airplane, we have to clean the cockpit as we're switching positions. So if I'm flying, I clean it. And then if I move to co-pilot or move to non-flying position, we're gonna have to clean the uh, cockpit as we're getting in and out. And we're also gonna have to wear the surgical masks that go around your ears so that we try not to spread the, the, the virus while we're in the cockpit since we can't abide by the six foot rule. When I got off the phone call, that still doesn't help the fact that I haven't flown an airplane in two months. So I wanted to brush up on my knowledge. I started reading through the Gulfstream manuals. I started going through the flows and going through the buttons on my cockpit trainer. All a flow is, is going through the instrument panel, setting the switches and doing your tests by memory and then you back it up with a checklist afterwards to make sure you haven't missed anything. So let me ask you something. Would you feel comfortable if I was your pilot and I haven't flown an airplane in two months to take you maybe down to Florida or fly you around the world? Leave a comment below, let me know what you think. I'm kind of curious to see everyone's answers. So Monday night, I got to the hangar and as soon as I walked in the door, right to the right was a station where they had masks, gloves, hand sanitizer all set up. So I put the mask on, sanitized my hands and walked to my desk. Then I went through the flight plans and all the flight information for the night to make sure that we didn't have any problems doing our flight for proficiency. The beast is hanging on the ramp waiting for fuel and we're gonna fire it up and go do some proficiency flights. There was three pilots tonight. We did a quick trip around Robin from Philadelphia to Atlantic City, Atlantic City to Harrisburg, Harrisburg back to Philadelphia. I ended up doing my landings, two in Harrisburg, one in Philadelphia, and they were actually amazing. It was so funny when we landed. 
one of my coworkers said, you should get a promotion for how good your takeoff and landings were. Well, that made me feel good because I, I wasn't as rusty as I thought I was gonna be. I walked off of the airplane, helped the ground crew bring the airplane in the hangar, and I just felt energized. I felt like a new person. I felt like I was back to my normal self. And I felt like I was 100% up to speed and ready for this trip on Friday. When Friday rolled around, we had a successful trip down to Florida and back. We had to sit there for a few hours, so we brought lunch and we just ate our lunch on the airplanes. We were spread out, shut the doors, and each of us had a compartment in the airplane so we could take our masks off and have a breather. We completed the mission, we got our passenger down to Florida, and it was a great day with my coworkers. Just getting out, flying the airplane, it just felt amazing. I feel like I'm back to my normal self. This was just enough to fuel my desires and dreams to be flying again. You should check out this video where I had to shave my beard for this proficiency flight. You can really see how full it was. And also check out this video playlist here where you can just see the flights that I've done around the world. It's a video from start to finish of the full trip and everything in between. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next flight. Make sure you subscribe below and leave us a comment.